Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from now to the end of July 2021 as I am releasing these a little bit early. Um, remember, it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you Scorpio. And uh, do check out your Sun, Moon and Rising signs uh, readings because you sometimes get a bigger picture not all the time but sometimes you can and one might resonate more than the other okay so what's the overarching energy or message angel spirits guides for scorpio in money and career please in money and career only thank you what do we have for scorpio in money and career only thank you good so we have the Page of Wands. A message that holds potential can be to do with an opportunity, but it holds potential of growth, excitement, power, heart and soul energy. Uh, we have the card that comes out for you is, is the Rowan Protection. You are being protected here. Feels like divine protection here, but it almost might be a practical energy of you wanting to protect your home, your family, things that matter to you most, your, you know, material things, possessions. Okay, what do we have for Scorpio, please? Angel spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Scorpios. Okay, so we've got a yes. Now, the yes can be a confirmation of answered prayers from the universe, what you've been hoping for, praying for. There is the beginnings of something new coming your way, that's for sure, and it holds potential. Um, now, for some of you, I always say this with this card, the universe, God, the universe works through people. So it might well be you're practically saying yes to somebody or somebody saying yes to you. And we have that with some kind of message here. So very powerful. Okay, so what do we have for Scorpio, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Scorpios, thank you. Money, career, finances, please. Money, career, finances, please. July 2021, money and career and finances only for Scorpio, thank you. So we have the Queen of Wands in the challenge position. It can be your energy, Mars energy there, Scorpio. Um, it can be somebody. Um, we have the Hanging Man. Three of Wands, obstacles to overcome. The Ten of Wands is the advice from Spirit. Justice. Okay, and we have the Nine of Swords, bottom of the deck. What is this Justice card of Libra? I mean, it's a card of things being rebalanced. And it's a karmic energy of reaping what you sow here, Scorpio. So what you sow will be reaped. But there's a lot of stress going with this. Yeah, yeah, you don't see it. You know, the Two of Swords is waiting for some information. Waiting for clarity, waiting for some information coming your way. And we have it with the Hermit and the Page of Cups. Again, another page. So things looking up. Okay, Scorpio, so like I said, for some of you, there is a message here that is coming your way that holds potential. The page of wand holds the wand, the opportunity. So it can be to do with an opportunity. It can be to do with a new door opening for you. And it feels in terms of money, career, finances. It's the initial message that you're getting here that holds real potential to a new path. Uh, and this is all about growth, success, power, 
um, something that is absolutely connected to your heart and soul. You're being protected, that's what you're being told. Is it a hawthorn? Um, I, think, I think it is hawthorn. Was that supposed to keep away... You know, it used to be like um, bad energy, you know, that kind of thing. Um, it is a, it's a, it's a, it's a plant of prote or a tree of protect protection. Um, and I think it is just keeping that away. So I'm feeling this energy. Something is, is pushing away some challenging energy that you've experienced here. Because you're being told yes, a new door is opening for you. It starts with some news or a message. Now, interestingly enough, Scorpio, I'm feeling that either you're waiting to hold the wand and it feels like some opportunity, something connected to your heart and soul here, something that promises growth. You're challenged in this situation. So if this is you, the Queen of Wands, this can be about you're waiting to, I'm feeling you're waiting to hold the wand here because we have the hanged man right next to the Queen of Wands, which can be about waiting to be aligned. Uh, things need to play out, you know. It might well be that there are further conversations to be had. There could be another meeting. Um, there could be contract negotiations to sort out with regard to an opportunity. It might be one person needs to get somebody else involved for sign off. You know, it, it's all these kind of energies. It just feels like there's a period of waiting here. But I don't feel that I feel this period of waiting is coming to an end because that page of one signifies a new door opening for you. Now. This could also be somebody offering you the wand. The Queen of Wands can be a leader, male or female energy. It's a card of Aries. Aries, Leo or Sagittarius in general terms. But this is a magnetic, charismatic leader. Somebody who is very intuitive. They just, they judge people intuitively on what feels right. They will judge people um, and take action yeah, if they feel they're the right fit, you know, certainly for a company. Um, they're very instinctive and their instincts serve them well because this is somebody who is very successful, who understands how to take the Ace of Wands and bring it to real growth and success and deliver power and authority in a situation. So I'm feeling, Scorpio, you're waiting for something to play out. It feels like things haven't quite aligned yet and you're waiting for that to happen the three of wands again <laughs> obstacles to overcome your ships are coming in it feels like something good is coming your way it is a message that holds potential could be with regard to an opportunity here um but there's definitely an energy of what you have been you've been taking steps towards making this happen and now there's a feeling of, of waiting for it to be ha to happen. The ship is coming in. It's not quite in the harbour yet, but there's good signs. You're getting good vibes, good feedback. You might have already had a good interaction with somebody here, uh, maybe a meeting or something. You know, it can represent, you know, you've taken steps to make the beginnings of success happen. And you can see the success, anticipate the success coming your way. But it's not quite there yet. You know, it's not quite there yet. The Ten of Wands is, I mean, it can be a card of extreme hard work. It's also a card of extreme burden. Um, but there's definitely an energy when a Ten appears, an opportunity to release from some significant burden, something that has built up and burdened you for a period of time. You felt in limbo with this burden. But Spirit is telling you a weight is about to be lifted. A weight is about to be lifted. So don't give power to the negative. Keep your own head here in this situation. Don't overthink. We have a tendency to overthink. In this period of waiting, Scorpio, there will be a tendency to just be in your own head, to think it's never going to happen, to start blowing things out of perspective. You know, this can be a period where you've been tested and the burden has built up over a period of time. It's weighed you down. 
it's been incredibly hard work an incredible hard work to deal with this situation however you're being told to keep your head because if you don't this person you know they they imagine monsters and it's how the mind can just blow things out of perspective so much that we lose all sense of reality you know there's a reason to feel stress anxiety worry no doubt but you're also being told really try and keep your own head in this situation because there is definitely a feeling of you reaping what you sow now the justice card can be about getting justice too uh, some justice being served here um, but I'm feeling in this energy this is also about restoring balance, reaping what you sow, cause and effect energy. What you've been putting into something, you're going to get back. Actions are rewarded with justice. Um, it's a karmic card. And there's a sense, but there's a sense with the two of swords of not seeing, waiting for some information, not, not seeing the results of what you've been working towards yet because you're still waiting for something. Um, the Hermit is, is it can be a card of uh, soul-searching, introspection, inner guidance, healing as well in this situation as well, doing some healing. Um, but I'm feeling in this energy, it's a card of Virgo as well. I'm feeling in this energy, Scorpio, this is, I feel, I'm feeling you're waiting for some kind of answer. It can be a card of inner guidance, inner wisdom, but it's interesting in the energy that I'm getting, it feels that you're waiting for some kind of answer. Because it's still mercurial energy, the hermit energy. Um, and Mercury is all about communication. It's generally in the Hermit, it's about inner communication. It feels like in the dark, you're waiting for that communication here. Again, we have communication with the Page of Cups, some message uh, to do with some kind of opportunity or things are about to look up with this message. So again, it feels like the healing begins. It feels like you are being aligned, again, Hermit card of alignment. Answers from within on how you align in your external environment. And I'm feeling in this energy, you are being enlightened. What you've been waiting for to be enlightened with the Hanging Man, I'm feeling you're getting some enlightenment here. Because there's definitely an energy of things are about to look up. And it's water energy, cups energy, your element. And that could be to do with an offer, an opportunity here, Scorpio. But the page of, of cups is generally about things are about to feel good. Things are about to, you know, it's a fun energy. Things are about to, you know, uh, feel good. So don't worry so much. That's what you're being told. Don't worry. A weight is about to be lifted here. But there has been some waiting, waiting to hold the wand. However, I feel... For some of you, you're being protected. The difficulty is being banished. It's almost like there's this protective ring that is growing around you. And it's by Spirit God, the universe, because there's some confirmation of yes. Let's um, pull one, another card. Any other advice for Scorpio, please, with this reading? Any other advice for Scorpio, please? Angel Spirits Guides, yeah. Wait, there has been waiting. Waiting for things to play out. It's not the fact that you're in limbo and nothing is happening. It's everything else needs to be aligned up here. And that's what the hangman is all about. You might well be you're waiting on other people um, to get their ducks in a row, you know? The page of swords, the, sorry, the page of wands is action. It's going to come your way, the, the golden coin. Um, the ace of coins, the ace of pentacles. So you're waiting for the new path to unfold in your conscious reality. 
the message is it's coming this is a gift from the universe and it's coming your way there is going to be a message there may well be some kind of uh it's all part of alignment there could be some message that will start making you feel good here as well scorpio could be a second message a second conversation um, but there's, and I know I'm being very literal with this, but it's resulting in some tangible offer. The, the Ace of Coins can be a new business opportunity, a job offer, and it's opening a new door. And it's a gift from the universe. This can involve moving, relocating. For those of you looking at overseas opportunities or distance, uh, an opportunity to relocate to, uh, that might well be part of why there's some waiting here to get your ducks in a row, you know? Um, there is the solid opportunity coming. It just feels like, I mean, for some of you, you might be affected by the pandemic, you know? Um, certainly if it's overseas. Um, but there's definitely an energy here of the opportunity is opening up for you, so don't worry so much. It's coming. It's just everything needs to be aligned and you have to trust that. You will get the start of a message here. I feel there could be some second conversation, second message, and it's all part of the alignment. Um, and there's definitely an energy of the waiting will be over because it's resulting in some offer or opportunity. Um, job offer, career offer, business opportunity. It can involve some moving, relocating, especially if you're looking to move to a distance or overseas. But there's kind of like this this wonderful ring that's that's around you of protection. Don't worry so much, you're being told. Um, because there's definitely an energy of you're being lit up, illuminated from within to the path that you need to align to. Very powerful reading for some of you. Okay, final message for Scorpio, please. Final message for Scorpio, thank you. The wait's going to be worth it. There is waiting, but, you know, you're being told, oh my goodness, it is going to be worth it. Okay, so what do we have for Scorpio? We have Peacock, self-love, time to celebrate you and your magnificent light. Now, Scorpio, the Peacock in Tarot is a sign of abundance. So don't doubt it. The signs are there in the reading that the abundance is coming. I just feel that there is some waiting. However, you're being told by spirit a weight is going to be lifted. And it starts with conversations, maybe one or two conversations coming your way. Maybe that could be involved meetings, people. But I'm feeling that there is some tangible offer. Um, it just doesn't feel that this is moving particularly fast. However, it's something that is going to be very solid and something to be built on. It's a sustainable energy. So very nice when it comes. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.